tire, a 19 millimeter socket. Now with a trim tool, you're going to take off the inner fender well. So there's several points to take these plastic pins off. You have to reuse them, so try not to destroy them. This one right here. Oh, no. There's one hidden right up here. 10 millimeter socket. Just guide it right out. You don't have to take the front completely out. Just make sure it's out of your way. We're replacing the passenger side downstream O2 sensor and I can see the connector right here. So I'm gonna squeeze that tab and pull. Disconnect it from that harness, the car side. And now I'm gonna get my O2 sensor socket and loosen that up. So here's my O2 sensor socket. They come in different depths. They're usually always the same size. It's like a 22 millimeter or seven eighths standard. But the reason why you want the specialty socket. She didn't want to ruin anything. I'm going to get in there, be able to get in there and break that free without breaking the harness. Now we're just going to reverse the procedure, find the actual spot in the manifold. Definitely start it by hand. You, this is not something you ever want to strip. I like to spin the harness at the same time so that way the wires don't get all twisted. And there is no torque specs. You just really want to make sure that it's bottomed out. And then once it's bottomed out, you're going to give it a good quarter turn because this has a crush washer just like a spark plug. So I'm gonna get a little plastic tie and I'm gonna just make sure that this harness doesn't fall down and hit the manifold because that'll destroy it. I don't have to make it too tight, just like that. Give it some vibrating move. I'll cut that excess off. So this is the passenger upstream O2 sensor. It is the exact same procedure. Fender wall comes out and you can grab it right here and the connector is right behind the shock tower. Now we can put our fender well back in. Just make sure it goes up over that shock tower. And then this part has to definitely go under the fender flare. Easy. There you go. I'm gonna put the bolt in first. Just snug it up by hand. Now I can put all my plastic pins back. Don't forget the ones out here in the fender flare. You want to make sure that base is pushed all the way down and pop it in. Tighten the bolt up. Now you can reinstall your tire. I'm just going to snug them up in a star pattern. Torque spec is 122 foot pounds. Do it in a star pattern. Ready to go.